Identify your vessel by the number of the bay in which it stands. Follow the route marked on the cross section to locate your component. All these components are required for repairs to working vessels in the Atlantic Fleet and other operational zones. So, they are to be salvaged with care. Any questions? Midshipman Wendet? No questions, Chief Petty Officer. Somebody's been getting in and pinching this stuff. God alone knows why. Go carefully. And Juliet Brody. Her we know little about, but he used to work for us at Cayman Ross in the international department. We found he'd been using other employees' passwords to explore the bank's computer system. Had been? Yeah, he disappeared as soon as he realized he was being investigated. Who's the older guy? Name's McTiern and an ex-naval diver that Brody hired to obtain the parts. And he's our only lead, then? Yeah, he lives in a weird little place. It's a caravan. Really? Then we'll have to persuade him to come in for a chat so we can check it out. Which one of you looks better in a suit? Him. Him. Thank you for answering our advertisement, Mr. McTinn. You said you do special deals for ex-servicemen. That's right. Our company was founded by an admiral who wanted to ensure a fair deal for all his men. Doesn't sound like any admiral I've ever met. <laughs> Keep him talking. 
We just need to fill out the necessary forms. If I could ask you a few questions. Ed? Say that again, it's a really bad signal. Beckett's with him now. You've got half an hour maximum. Wagons roll. You said on the telephone that you were looking to invest a large cash sum, surely. Certain items have come into my possession that I can turn into a lot of hard cash. I'm not a young man. I can't afford to waste the opportunity. What was your profession? I was a naval diver for 15 years, commercial for another 12. Right. Can you tell me what these um, items are intended for? I prefer not to say. Why did you ask me what they're intended for? I'm sorry? You didn't say, what are these items? You said, what are they intended for? <laughs> it's just, just a way of... Um... <laughs> Jim Beckett, History of Violence. Did they set this up? Are they listening? I can assure you, Mr. McTiernan, this is just a misunderstanding. Beckett, just let him go. Misunderstand this. Tell me something, Mr. McTiernan. If you hired someone to work for you and he refused to complete the job unless you paid him double, how would that make you feel? That's not how I said it, Mr. Brody. But it is what you said. Where are the goods? What's your best offer? This.
Come on, Pop Tart. Got to run. This company is called Cayman and Ross, not Cloak and Dagger. The Brodies are planning something. It is not just paranoia on our part. On your part, Mr. Hurry. We have the naval components, and we found a way to let the Brodies know about it. Now, if these bits from old ships are so vital to them, they'll have to come to us. My colleagues are waiting for a call right now. I thought we were here to be warned about a possible fraud on ourselves, not take an interest in the scrap metal market. One's related to the other, sir, but we can't as yet say how. Are you suggesting your department's not up to the mark, Mr. Hurry? No, sir. Our security is excellent. It's just... Look, whatever the Brodies are planning, they do know what they're taking on. In spite of all your sophisticated computer security, they are going to try to relieve you of a tremendous amount of money. We tin and went to a lot of trouble to hide this old junk. Tell you one thing, no two of these have come off the same kind of boat. Ship. What? The Navy doesn't have boats, Ed. It has ships. What's a gunboat, then? It's a kind of ship. Oh, well, it's a gunship, then. It's a helicopter. Oh. Hello? Yes, I want to speak to Mr. Bailey. That's me. I got your mysterious message. And I've got the components you wanted from McTiernan. What are you trying to do, start a navy? Never mind what I'm doing. How realistic are your expectations here? More realistic than the last owners were. We ought to meet. Yeah, I guess so. Bailey. Mine. So whose knuckles? My insurance. I've seen the results of the way you do business. <laughs> My wife has a temper. What can I say? Sit down. This is a uh, delicate business. How do I know you're both genuine? Here we are with McTiernan, Subic Bay, 1985. Photographs can be faked. Listen, Sunshine, if I was going to fake a photograph, I'd want to do a better job than that. OK. So listen, I don't just need the parts. I need to replace McTiernan as well. For what? A bit of marine engineering. Lifetime of silence and a very generous share in a humongous piece of fraud. Are we interested? Dream team to dream queen. Dream team to dream queen. Testing. Did he go for it? Well, he wants us to fit the components for him. Well, has he got a ship? Say. These are all pump components. I don't know, maybe he's going to build a tunnel. What on earth for? Tax free 250 million. The man's a bragger, he had to tell us.
Your boat? Charter. Luxury model? Looks like she can move, too. A bit like a good sell. Just get the stuff on board. I tell you something. She spooks me big time, this woman. Well, don't let her know it. Listen, you didn't see the look on her face when she shot this guy. What was it like? Absolutely no expression whatsoever. Seasick. I'm watching the horizon. They reckon that helps. You're supposed to be a professional sailor. Lord Nelson got seasick, you know. He also got killed on a boat. Ship. What you using there? It's a location finder. It charts your exact position to within a few yards at the press of a button. <laughs> How's it known that? Satellite signals. So, what now? You get to admire my timing. Okay, you two, get on deck. Get them all as fast as you can! Come on! We don't want to risk the sub being spotted! If I didn't have to do a Houdini when all this is over, I could have put it on show. Still, I did promise the boys they could drive it home. Where did you find the crew? They come with the boats, and they only know about a dozen words of English. They live on diesel oil, and they don't seem to need daylight. All part of the same hard currency deal, eh? Yeah. You should see it out there. Absolutely everything's for sale. This was cheap. Escape hatch is right above us. Just here. There's another one down the back end, but it's all seized up. This one's got an inflatable boat with a fast outboard. Just in case of emergency. Well, it isn't quite what we'd anticipated. Well, I'm expecting you to adapt. I didn't make this offer lightly. I need people I can rely on. That means people with a certain amount of greed, a certain lack of principle, and a healthy sense of self-preservation. Self-preservation says you can't pull 250 million out of the bank without taking a few risks. I mean, what's the proposal? Sail up the Thames up to the front door and fire off a broadside? Nothing so crude. 
Well, exactly how crude then? You fix the pumps. I'll fix the bank. Seabed engineering vessel. They build it for maintaining cables at the bottom of the Urals or wherever. Well, the Urals are mountains. Well, luckily I'm doing a bank job, not a geography exam. Doesn't matter where they used it. The point is, it'll get me into one of the phone cables under the North Sea. Phone cables? Yeah. Electronic money transfers. The bank sends money by wire. I intercept, I divert. What happens then is none of your concern. They can trace it, they'll just cancel the transactions. Not if you get the cash out of the system quick enough. End of questions on that subject. So what's our job? This unit pulls the cable in. And the chamber has to be pumped down or the whole place floods. And Tierna said he could fix it with the right salvage parts. He got the parts, then he got a greedy itch. In a fatal condition. It can be. These are his tools. See how you get on. How are your guts? Oh, better since we got better. Well, here you go, mate. Don't think of it as a submarine. Just think of it as a, a motorbike that goes through very deep puddles. I couldn't have done it entirely alone. Thank you. Now what now? I set up my hardware. Then we'll have to surface and refuel. Where do we do that? I've stashed some diesel. Don't worry about where. Me and Mr. Satellite take care of where. Strict Jacob's Doyle policy. This lady has stepped into the wrong building. Please help her to leave. Certainly, sir. I figure there's only half a dozen crew on this ship. Boat? What? You call a submarine a boat? Anyway, I say we pick our moment, sabotage the whole operation. Ed. It's a question of when. What the risks are. 
Они ну, не очень вот. друг друга. Стан Байнес, Товарищ командир. Да, идем, идем. Пошли. Джентльмен, the countdown begins. Jacob Doyle are diamond traders. They're very big and they've got no public profile at all. Could they handle a deal on a scale of 250 million? It's a small bag of rocks as far as they're concerned. Right, so this company has an account with you. No, they... not with us. What? Well, there has to be a connection. Well, I've checked every angle. We've never done business with them and we're not likely to. Yeah, but Graham, there has to be a link. Money has to move or Brody can't cut himself in. Yeah, but how? We don't deal in diamonds and Jacob's Doyle don't deal in anything else. Which strikes me as a rather major hole in your argument. I've been talking to our computer people. When we transfer money electronically to another bank, our computer calls up the other bank's computer and they chat for a while to prove to each other who they are. The money is only transferred when the computers are sure there's nothing wrong. No system is completely secure. Mr. Hurry, there's no budget for any more spy games. I won't authorize this. People have died. Two people I'm close to are missing. I don't know where they are or what might have happened to them. You can't just expect me to let this go. Well, I'm very sorry about your friends, but they're really not my problem. Hurry up and get that feed line ashore. We don't have long. I'll come down and give you a hand. No. One of you's got to run the pumps to get the stuff on board. I need to get a better signal from the surface antenna. This doesn't work so well once we're under. You understand? Da. Signal, da? Satellite? Dream team to dream queen. Rossi, there? Listen, I don't know if you can hear me. She got us to the rendezvous point. We were supposed to meet a boat. Here we are in the open. The absence is nothing. It's flipped out. The sub Seriously. That's why I couldn't get a signal to you. I really don't know where we are. I think we're somewhere on the Dutch coast. Yeah, you know. There's no one around. That's why I chose the place. Don't leave your gloves there. Ah. Hi, Graham. Come on up. Thanks for coming, Graham. Look, I tried talking to someone at Jacob Stoyle, but they're so secretive that they won't talk to anyone below board level. And your board won't take the threat seriously? No, they won't, but I do. I mean, it's my job, whether they believe it or not. Yes. Oh, they're alive. I put a long-range transmitter on Ed's jacket. Now, assuming he's still inside it, he's somewhere on the Dutch coast. Well, there are worse places to be.
Can you hear me? Bailey or whatever your name is. You can run, but you can't hide. You're not a king of infinite space. We're tracking the cable now. In one hour it'll all be over. I'll be rich and you'll be sorry. But well, I tell you, there's no way Brady's going to let the crew sail home. He took on barely enough diesel to last the next few hours. So what's his option? Well, he said the sub's got a fast escape boat. We know he took McKinnon's diving gear. I think he's going to scuttle it and leave them all down there. Oh, nice. Uh, we got fire, by the way. The what? Yes, our client doesn't believe in the threat, so we're on our own. No backup? No. Well... Nothing you'd call official, anyway. We can now go. All right, whatever. Look, I, I've got to go. They're waiting for me. Later. Undersea telephone cables. This is the submarine's last known position. Where they dumped Ed. Yeah. Now, the lovely Mrs. Brodie is still in England, so presumably Hubby won't want to be too far away. Allowing for currents and the fact that its cruising speed is limited by age, I think they're heading for here. Well, that's great. Mm -mm. Hard part is still to come. I'm going to fax this lot over to Ed, and then I'll really need your help. This will take some of the guesswork out of it. Right. You guys got sonar? Yep. OK. So we can get over the cable and start to search along it, yeah? Yep. Excellent. Keep him out of reach. Cuff him up there. Good work. Now, shoot. Go! Right down the end. No peeping. Who's on to me? Don't tell me it's that bunch of witless wonders I used to work for. Where's Ed? Ed? Ah, oh, that was his real name. And what's yours? Child of deaf mute parents, perhaps? Beckett. Well, Mr. Beckett, the bad news is that Ed's gone, and you're gonna follow. So what's the good news, eh? No good news. What do you think you're doing? Any minute now, the Cayman and Ross computer is going to make a routine call to one of its regular customers in Frankfurt. That call will come through here. The two computers in London and Frankfurt will think they're talking to each other. But they're both going to be talking to mine. Password? 
If they find out that I helped you do this, I'll be dead. If it works, you'll be a hero. And that gives you access to all the dealer information at Cayman Arms. So what are you looking for? Any overseas transfer that links your bank to Jacob Doyle in any way. Now, for someone who's been fired, you're very delicate. I'm not doing this for your employer. I'm doing this for Beckett. That's a call I've been waiting for. The credit transfer from Cayman and Ross. Which this machine answers with the correct codes. And I send on to its intended destination their customer in Frankfurt. And then Frankfurt sends back a reply saying thank you very much. They'll be talking to this computer thinking they're talking to Cayman and Ross. I'm the man in the middle. I'm receiving everything and nobody knows it. That's brilliant. Very impressive. But so far you're none the richer. Ah, that's the tricky part. See, what I do is I take that same signal from Cayman and Ross and send it a second time to another place where my wife is waiting. How'd you take it all in? Skill and 10 years of practice. What? 247 million being transferred as credit to Frankfurt. That's the right sum, but it's the wrong destination. They're well-known customers. This is a regular transfer one Brody would have known about. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, well, they all show the time. Yeah, but they all show the same time. This one's three seconds behind all the others. Well, maybe the um, German end just set their clock wrong. Yeah, right. What's rather more likely is that the signal's been interrupted and reprocessed on the way. Yes, of course, they're not stealing directly from the bank. They're diverting the bank's computer signals to create a phony credit transfer somewhere else. It's got to be the diamond merchants. The same credit going to two different destinations, eh? Exactly. I create a phantom credit. Huh. When the books don't balance, you know, they're all going to know something's wrong. By then, it'll be too late. Oh, well done. You just killed the pumps. And yourself and the crew. You saved me the great moral dilemma of switching them off. You didn't affect the money transfer at all. I'll try and stop it. There. On its way. Dan. <laughs> In ten minutes, my dear wife will have spent every cent of the money on diamonds. Oh, they can uh, change the books, but diamonds are forever. Don't go anywhere. You can. Well, could that be it? Is it not recently here a tanker gezonken? Yeah, slim well. Is it not the Polisto? An oil tanker went down right about here. That signal is bouncing off the wreck. Well, that would be wise on me, wouldn't it? Sorry, Beckett. You're all spamming a can now. Don't you have any kind of conscience at all? No. Winners do better without.
There's something on the radar. Where? Small power boat. It's back near the wreck we spotted. Yeah. They had one on the sub. Shall we chase him down? No, no, no. Turn around, go back. To where? What if that wasn't a wreck? Our accounts department just confirmed the payment. Did Mr. Stevens explain our procedure? Armed guard as far as the door. Once I'm in the street, I'm on my own. That's a lot of wealth to walk out with. We can arrange secure delivery to anywhere within reason. My associate's coming to collect me. We intend to keep a low profile. Up after all, please come back up straight away. What's the wreck of? A tanker called Callisto. But I'm telling you now, you won't be seeing much down there. Got a fraud in progress. There's a woman buying diamonds on a phantom credit transfer. That isn't possible. This woman, she's in your vault right now, isn't she? Look, if I'm wrong, you can laugh about me after I'm gone. If you're wrong, this firm will be the biggest joke in the city. Wait there. These gentlemen are our assessors. The case is with our compliments. Put them in my handbag. It'll be a lot less conspicuous. Excuse me. Hello? What? Right. Back up now. There's nothing more you can do. Listen, what if the sub's somewhere close and the wreck's just confusing the sonar? I've got to keep searching. How do I get to the parking <coughs> level? I don't work here, lady. Great. Oh, parking level, where? Came down when the alarm went off. Well, what are we gonna do? Don't worry, I've got everything worked out. Give me the bag. Now, 
What? He's gonna leave you. Shut up! Brian! Sorry, doll. But look at the situation. You know you do the same. No. What other choice do I have? I'll get you the best lawyers. He won't. Brian! Trust me, lover. <laughs> of the submarine stored in this GPS. Can you patch me through to Ed? After a fashion. Go ahead. Ed. Ed, can you hear me? Look, you're almost there. Go 400 metres north, northeast of the wreck of the Callisto. Ed, did you get that? Home present. Yes. It's cold, it's wet, it bubbles. Hey, champagne. Ah! 